current's kind of wicked out there. Come on. Good boy. As you can probably tell, this this episode is pretty much dedicated to ha getting Howie out on the river. Um, sooner, um, probably pretty soon, I'll get him a, a life vest um, just to help him out a little bit. This this is about as high highest the speed on the trolling motor. So if he gets in, he's a good enough uh, swimmer naturally, I think, to uh, figure it out and not hit the water too hard. I can guide him to the shore or just pick him up. He's light enough. Um, but so far, it is beautiful out here. Maybe I'll cast a line in and catch a fish. We'll see. Um, Howie is surely, surely enjoying it. than a mile an hour but we're making it and it is really pretty out here right now so then I could look around and you steer the boat wouldn't that be nice dog steers boat as you might expect i am looking at the bottom of the river trying to see if there's any treasures down there like that fishing pole i found um, when i was canoeing um, i actually have that fishing pole right now with me i loaded up some uh some braided line on it it's this one right here there it is and it's, it's it works real good good rod on it too nice fresh water type uh, rock combo give it a shot today got me a, a bass on uh, this new fishing pole what do you think about that Howie Another fish. Man, they like this worm right now. They're hungry. Ooh, that's a big one. That's a big one, Howie. Look how big that belly is. This uh, stick it pole, this anchor thing that I found right here, it costs about 80 bucks at Bass Pro. I found it in this, I found it in the river right here. It was funny as I was looking at Bass Pro like a few days before I found it, thinking about buying it, and I was like, eh, I'll find it in the river. And then what do you know? I found it in the river like that following weekend. Aren't you cute? Yeah. What you doing? You want to go up there? Okay. Let's go. Mm. 
Yeah. Pretty nice little camp up here. And typically you have to reserve this, but a lot of people don't. But luckily I know the guy to reserve it. Uh, I My friend knows a friend and uh, he can get permission to reserve it out here in case the uh, FWC comes out. But yeah, this is where um, I have camped here before and um, it's very quiet here. Come here, Howie. Come here. Come on. Okay. Very pretty here. Very peaceful. Good little run there. Um, my back is probably all scratched up from him. Yep, I got several big scratches right here from him, but I think he's just trying to save me. But some good practice definitely gets swimming against the current. Out there in the middle of the river, he is kind of stagnant, um, but I think as he gets older and stronger, he'll have no problem swimming against that current and figuring out he needs to swim to the side. Yeah, you love boat. You love boat. What's the matter? Huh? Oh. No. Oh. Stop fishing. Get ready. Rapids.
Jesse. I know a Jesse. Well, seen so much trash here, so I figure I might pick some up. Some lighters. A lot of people tip right here. A lot of people tip over in these rapids. The straw. Piece of chocolate wrapper. turtle. Last time I came up in here it was in sh as shallow. That's a five. There's like four phones in there. So today, Howie and I had a really good day on the river. Um, he exceeded my um, expectations for him. Um, I thought that when I was trying to treasure hunt that he would uh, just jump in, in the water after me. Uh, but I was surprised he hung out in the boat and let me do my thing. And you know, as y'all hopefully uh, saw in the footage, um, I did find this dry bag. And in the dry bag, there were, uh, there's four phones, but they're, they're, they're all waterlogged. And uh, hopefully I can get them out of here. My GoPro is about to die. So um, as I was filming that, uh, the GoPro died. Um, and Howie was actually getting pretty um, antsy himself after, you know, having, being in the car ride home for about, you know, 20, 30 minutes. And uh, I think he was pretty hungry because right when I got him in the house, he went straight to his bowl and started scarfing down food. <laughs> but um, I was going to show you the phones and um, some of the other stuff I found today. Um, <clears throat> but um, I did find uh, two shirts. Um, I found this like dry fit fishing shirt. This should clean up nice. I know it looks filthy right now, but um, after I wash it, it should be nice like dry fit for, um, you know, uh, PFD type shirt and then I found this Florida grown shirt that's pretty nasty it smells really bad uh, I don't even know if we'll wash it probably just toss it um, in the last video uh, I did I, where I, when I didn't find much and I kind of was snorkeling at night I found um, here's that Quicksilver uh, rash guard I think it's pretty nice actually but anyways I'll show you guys um, that dry bag here's the dry bag um, as you can tell, it has, um, some like, it's like corroded, you know, with mud and whatnot. So it's been down there probably a couple months. Um, and of course it was full of water when I found it. Now the phones, I'll, I'll, I'll show you the phones right now. So here are all the phones. Um, that's my phone. Um, these keys were also in that bag. I would hate to be the person that was responsible for losing all their friends' phones. Um, but all this stuff right here is just um, my tools to take apart the phones um, to try to drain the water out and, um, and whatnot. That's like how I sometimes save some of these phones. Now it looks like an iPhone XR, an iPhone 11, 11, an X, and then an iPhone 8. This iPhone X is pretty much shot. It was pretty much busted open. Looks like the battery inflated. Um, this iPhone 8, the camera is like cracked open. And the screen kind of looks weird like that. I doubt that one's going to work. I doubt any of these phones will work after how long they've been in the river. This iPhone 11, though, doesn't have any condensation in the lens. 
um, seems to be in pretty good shape. Uh, this iPhone 11 does have condensation in the lens. Um, and on the front too, screen's in good shape. Um, this iPhone XR has condensation inside there, water inside, the screen's pretty much shot. But what I'll do is I'll open up the phone, these, uh, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And um, with these tools that I got, and, um, and what you do basically is uh, you take a lighter, and you can look how to take apart an iPhone or something on YouTube, and that's how I did it. And I've taken apart several now. Um, and what you do is you uh, take you get one of the star screwdrivers and you unscrew these, right? And then you take a lighter and you hold the phone you hold the phone up and kind of in the air, and you uh, here maybe I can. take the lighter after you take the screws out and there's a little there's um, a rubber sticky in here and um, if you just try to pry it open it might crack the glass so I've read that you're supposed to heat it like that and just kind of run a lighter or like an hair dryer real hot and just run it along here a couple times get it to where it's hot to touch the screen and what will happen is is that the rubber will loosen up then once you do that all around the phone you take one of these jimmies. Um, I got this like phone kit on a phone kit off Amazon, and um, you basically pry. You stick it in between the uh, frame of the phone and where there's like a little rubber thing. You stick it down there, and you and it pops up. And then once you get it in there, you leave it in there. And then you take another tool like this, and you basically cut and put, and it pops open the screen. Um, I'll show you that process maybe another time.